As the British royal family quietly endures a challenging time, there is mounting speculation within royal circles and the broader public about the future of the monarchy. Recent whispers suggest that Prince William, heir apparent to the throne, is grappling with a deep-seated fear, the possibility that his father, King Charles III, might one day favor his eldest grandson, Prince George, over him in the line of succession. While rumors of favoritism have long been a part of royal life, this specific concern has taken root in William's mind, creating a rift between perception and reality. The public, too, has begun to question whether the established line of succession might be disrupted, prompting heated discussions about the future of the crown. Yet, beneath this tension, lies a more human and poignant struggle. King Charles, whose own health has become a private concern as he quietly undergoes chemotherapy treatments, is not blind to his son's worries. He knows William's strengths more intimately than anyone. He has always seen in his son the makings of a great monarch, an ability to lead with both grace and conviction. Behind closed doors, he has been a constant source of quiet encouragement for William, preparing him not just for the crown, but for the weighty responsibilities that come with it. Asterisk, asterisk, a growing fear, asterisk, asterisk. For Prince William, the pressures have never been higher. As the media hones in on every move he makes, he finds himself wondering if his father might, at some point, choose to shift the crown to Prince George directly. This fear has been compounded by the ever-watchful eyes of the British public, who are increasingly drawn to the idea of George, the young and vibrant future king, skipping a generation. Royal commentators have noted that William's anxieties are not without cause. After all, the monarchy has long been a symbol of tradition, but it has also shown itself capable of surprising adjustments. In a modern era where the public's favor can sway in unpredictable directions, William's fear of being sidelined seems all too real. It is not about jealousy, insiders say, but about a deeper concern. What if he is not seen as the right man for the job in the eyes of his father or the people? But those close to William stress that, while these doubts weigh on him, he remains committed to his role. His dedication to duty has never wavered, even as these personal uncertainties take their toll. And in a way that has long defined the royal family, his struggle is kept from the public eye with only a few hints of the internal storm making their way into public view. While William wrestles with his worries, King Charles carries his own burdens. His ongoing chemotherapy treatments have not been public knowledge, with the king choosing to shield his health from public scrutiny. Yet, his illness has not diminished his ability to lead, and it certainly has not clouded his vision of what is best for the monarchy. Insiders report that Charles has no intention of bypassing his son. In fact, he has been working behind the scenes to strengthen William's confidence, seeing this period of uncertainty as a test of character that will only make his son a stronger king one day. It is a complex emotional landscape for Charles, who, despite his physical challenges, has been more focused than ever on ensuring the monarchy's stability. He has confided in close advisors that he sees William as the key to that stability. For Charles, the crown is not merely about public image or popularity, it is about who has the heart and capability to lead in a time of uncertainty. I know what William is made of, Charles reportedly told one confidant. He has everything it takes to lead this country. He just needs to believe in himself as much as I believe in him. This belief has driven Charles to continue a series of private conversations with his son, meant to reassure William that, despite any public perceptions to the contrary, his place in the line of succession is secure. Still, there is no denying the rising prominence of Prince George. The young prince has captured the imagination of the public, with many already speculating about his future role in the monarchy. His youthful charm, 
combined with the elegance of his upbringing, has made him a favorite among royal watchers, and it is easy to see why some might dream of George taking the throne sooner rather than later. But George is still just a boy, and both Charles and William know that he has a long journey ahead, before he can even consider the weight of the crown. Charles has made it clear to those closest to him that George's time will come, but not before William's. He sees the strength in both his son and his grandson, understanding that each has a role to play in the future of the monarchy. And yet, as the whispers of favoritism grow louder, the weight of the crown seems to bear down on the royal family with even greater force. For William, the question of whether he will eventually wear that crown has become both a personal and a public dilemma. It is not merely about succession, but about legacy and purpose. What few see is the depth of the relationship between King Charles and Prince William. Their bond has grown stronger in recent years, especially as Charles has navigated his own health challenges. Charles has shared with William the lessons he learned from his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, about duty, sacrifice, and the enduring nature of the monarchy. And in these conversations, Charles has subtly guided William, helping him understand that leadership is not about who ascends the throne first, but about how one leads when the time comes. William has the heart of a king, Charles is said to have told his inner circle. He has the strength to lead, even when he doubts himself. These words of encouragement, delivered privately and without fanfare, have been Charles' way of preparing his son for the inevitable day when William will take the throne. The chemotherapy treatments may have weakened Charles' body, but his mind remains sharp, and his determination to see his son succeed has never faltered. For William, these moments with his father have been a lifeline. He knows that the public may never fully understand the complexities of their relationship, but he cherishes the quiet support his father has offered him in private. As the royal family continues to navigate these uncertain times, one thing remains clear, both King Charles and Prince William are deeply committed to the future of the monarchy. While the public may speculate and the media may stir rumors, the bond between father and son has never been stronger. In the end, King Charles believes that all the challenges William is facing now, the fears, the doubts, the scrutiny, are only making him stronger. And when the time comes for William to take the throne, Charles knows that his son will be ready. For now, the public will have to wait and see what the future holds for the monarchy. But behind the palace walls, a quiet transformation is taking place, one that will shape the future of the British crown for generations to come. King Charles has long been known for his deep sense of duty and commitment to his family, and in this time of need, he has promised to give William and Catherine a way of life that aligns with their values and responsibilities. This promise is more than just words. It is a pledge to ensure that their lives are balanced, fulfilling, and meaningful, despite the pressures that come with their royal duties. The king understands that the responsibilities of the royal family can often be overwhelming, especially during times of personal hardship. By committing to making their way of life as comfortable as possible, King Charles aims to ease the burden on his son and daughter-in-law, allowing them to focus on what truly matters, their family and their well-being. As Princess Catherine undergoes chemotherapy, the king has vowed to provide unwavering support, ensuring that both William and Catherine find comfort and strength in the face of adversity. As Princess Catherine battles through her treatment, the emotional toll on the family is undeniable. King Charles's promise to provide comfort in all aspects of their lives is a reassurance that they are not alone in this journey. He is committed to being a pillar of strength, offering a safe space where they can find solace and peace. As Princess Catherine undergoes chemotherapy, the need for support has never been greater for Prince William. 
The emotional and physical toll of supporting a loved one through such a difficult time is immense. King Charles has recognized this and has taken it upon himself to ensure that William receives the help and encouragement he needs. The king's promise to always be there for William is a source of comfort and strength. It reassures the prince that he is not alone in this struggle and that his father is standing by his side, ready to offer whatever support is necessary. This commitment from King Charles is not just a promise. It is a lifeline for William as he navigates this challenging period. The second promise made by King Charles is to ensure that William and Catherine are comfortable in all that they do. This commitment goes beyond the physical comforts of life. It extends to emotional and psychological support. The king has recognized the importance of creating an environment where William and Catherine can thrive, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. In a poignant moment, King Charles reminded Prince William that setbacks are simply setups for comebacks, and with each challenge we face, I grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. This message, delivered with deep sincerity, reflects the king's belief in the power of resilience and the importance of facing challenges head-on. This reminder is particularly meaningful for William as he supports his wife through her treatment. It serves as a source of inspiration, encouraging him to find strength in adversity and to continue to move forward with courage and determination. In the midst of these trying times, Prince William has shown the world what it means to be a devoted husband and father. His unwavering support for Princess Catherine, as she undergoes chemotherapy, is a testament to his strength of character and his deep love for his family. William has taken on the role of caregiver with grace and determination, ensuring that his wife and children are supported in every way possible. His actions have not gone unnoticed, and he has been widely praised for his dedication to his family. As a father, William has demonstrated what it means to be fully present for his children, even in the face of personal challenges. He has continued to fulfill his royal duties, while also prioritizing the well-being of his family. This balance of responsibility and care is a reflection of his deep commitment to those he loves. The third and perhaps most significant promise from King Charles is to always help them if needed be. His illness has not diminished his ability to lead, and it certainly has not clouded his vision of what is best for the monarchy. Insiders report that Charles has no intention of bypassing his son. In fact, he has been working behind the scenes to strengthen William's confidence, seeing this period of uncertainty as a test of character that will only make his son a stronger king one day. It is a complex emotional landscape for Charles, who, despite his physical challenges, has been more focused than ever on ensuring the monarchy's stability. He has confided in close advisors that he sees William as the key to that stability. For Charles, the crown is not merely about public image or popularity, it is about who has the heart and capability to lead in a time of uncertainty. I know what William is made of, Charles reportedly told one confidant. He has everything it takes to lead this country. He just needs to believe in himself as much as I believe in him.